name is Kate Peterson and I am the Undergraduate Services Librarian at the University of Minnesota. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about um, how you can um, use the collections in the University of Minnesota libraries and integrate them into your Canvas course or other course site. So first I want to start with a couple reasons why it's useful to link directly to the libraries. So first um, is that the uh, students tuition dollars and the university are paying for our existing collections to the libraries. So um, it can be no cost for students to use these materials. So you're going to save students a little bit of money. Secondly, uh, linking is always what our preference is because when you're linking to something in the um, libraries like a book or an article or a streaming video, then um, all of our different systems collect the usage for that so that when it comes to budget cuts later, we have a much more accurate picture of what student and course use is for the libraries. And thirdly, I don't think it's really helpful that students get a sense that the um, readings, whether it's articles or books or books chapters or online um, videos and different materials are available through the libraries. I think that uh, really great because let's say next semester or even the next year um, let's say that they found something that was really helpful for a course um, that, that you are in and they want to get back to it and for whatever reason they can't get back to that canvas course instead they should be able to hopefully remember hey that was in the library I'm gonna go back and look for it so what I want to do today then is to um, give you a couple quick ways that you can take the materials in the library and integrate them into your Canvas course. So I'm going to share my screen now. And uh, here is the library homepage, lib.umn.edu. You're probably already familiar with this. You probably use it for different searching. So you could use a lot of the different tools that are available through the libraries. I'm going to demonstrate today using um, library search, kind of the giant search box at the top. So that searches through all of our physical books and materials. Then it also searches through our online books. We have over a million online books and then various um, online um, journal articles, magazine articles, and newspaper articles. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, demonstrate how you could link to one of our online books, uh, whether you want students to read just a specific chapter out of the, that book or multiple chapters in that book. Um, so I've already done some searching and let's say that I want to integrate this book called The Powerful Teaching. You can see that it is available online. So the way you go about doing it is, again, pretty simple. When I click on the title, I get to kind of this screen here. And what the first thing you actually want to do is just scroll down and you want to click on this link here that's called the get link. And it's actually already open right here. Uh, the get link is going to be a really good link that you'll be able to put into your Canvas course uh, that students are going to be able to access whether they're on campus or off campus or any of those sort of logistical issues that sometimes can happen. So I'm going to go over here to my pretend Canvas course and let's say that I know that the way you might put readings into your course are really different because each person kind of builds their Canvas courses in different ways. You might want to put it in by the week or you might kind of want a big chunk of content that's just the reading list. So in that case, in this case, I'm going to put it under readings and articles. I'm then going to put it in as an external URL. I'm going to copy and paste that URL. Um, I could uh, go and just sort of type the title, but I'm going to come back over here and copy the title of that book. Go back over here, put it there, click add item. So there it is, and now students can get access to it. I'm gonna do that same basic technique again for a journal article. So let's say again, I found a journal article that I want students to have access to. I can do that same thing uh, here in library search. I'm gonna click on the title. I'm going to then scroll down until I get to see the get link. I see the get link right there. I'm gonna copy and paste it. Go back over to my um, part, put in the URL, go back and grab that article title, and add the item. And there they are. And again, students can click on those and use those. One thing I want to mention is, uh, or another option I want to give you is also that you can put your readings in uh, either in kind of modules, um, or you could also put it into an assignments. Um, so I think it just depends again on what you're interested in. Let's say that I was going to do this um, and give a week one assignment. What I could do in this case, just to give you a really quick example, this is one of our online books. So the assignment might look like read chapter one, answer the following questions, and then that could be directly in 
Canvas and sort of all together as one assignment. So I just wanted to give you a couple of those different ideas. Please don't hesitate um, with any questions that you have. You can chat 24-7 with the libraries. You can set up a consultation uh, with a librarian and we have lots of different services that can also support other ways to get materials from the library into your Canvas courses or other course sites. Thank you. <laughs>